What's up, Internet? This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends here, just finishing up the Multiverse tutorial series that I've been doing with Multiverse Inventories. This is a great plugin if you want to uh, separate the inventories between worlds. Like, for instance, if you have a VIP creative world and you don't want them to spawn items and bring them back into the survival world. So it's pretty easy. There's not much to do. Just drop it into your jar file, start your server, and then hop into the game. All the configuration can be done on the back end. Basically, it separates stuff into groups, and uh, we'll go over how that goes. Let's hop into the game, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are. We're in the game. As you can see, I already got a bunch of worlds created here. And basically, the way it works is you can separate stuff into groups, and then those groups will share inventories. If you, if you pretty much have a pretty basic setup like I do, then you just set up a default group, put the worlds that you want to share inventories in that group, and everything else outside of that group. Um, I have a little bit more complicated setup here in the fact that I got two other worlds rather than the three default worlds, which uh, when you create it, it automatically puts world, the end, and the nether all in the default group so that you uh, don't have to worry about um, sharing inventories between those worlds. And so I'm going to add the two other worlds. I'll show you that those worked as, as well as then also show you the VIP world that it will be outside of that group and how that works. So here's my world list, as I've already mentioned, and then we just type in mvinv, you know, it's short for inventory, it's the alias that they set up for that, and then you just want to set up group. Now this is going to start the command sequence for what you need to do, and then we're basically just going to set edit, and we'll go edit, uh, and then we're going to select the default group to edit. And then uh, we'll go worlds. Uh, you can also set what, what the worlds do share, if they share hunger and uh, health and all that stuff. I usually just leave it vanilla. just doesn't share anything. It's the easiest way to do it. So we'll just do worlds. Now uh, to add a, a group to the default, or, oh, that's kind of poorly worded. To add a world to the default group, um, we just type in the name of the world. So it's alpha, which is the starting one. And then... Um, resource which i believe you can just do that so nope you got to do you got to do them all uh, individually so alpha and then resource all right so there we go now that they're done we're just going to hit the at symbol to continue and it'll uh now it shows in the worlds here uh what's shared uh, between them and then what the worlds are in the default group so then we just type in double hashtag or pound sign for those older and uh, this goes to the vip world so we're going to show you how um here i'll put something in my inventory just to show see how uh now i got completely other stuff in my inventory because i was building this gate for the tutorial and then we'll go back and everything will be back and there it is uh, and then let's, uh, just to demonstrate, I'll hop over to the resource world, which is one of the ones we added to this, which then it should share my inventories between those. And there it is. And then we'll go back. So that's it. It's pretty easy. It's very nice. Uh, I struggle with different ways to get people to not bring stuff back from the VIP creative world. And this is the surefire way. Um, it's great. You can set up multiple groups. So if you have like different sets of worlds that need to share items and what they not share, blah, blah, blah. It's fantastic. So there it is. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the list below. And if you have any other plugins that you want some help with, maybe suggest those and I can tackle those as well for you. And uh, this is it. This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends. And as always, uh, enjoy the game. <laughs>